हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फिडलर कंटीजेंसी थियोरी ऑफ लीडरशिप अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थियोरी देयर इज नो वन बेस्ट लीडरशिप स्टाइल देर इज नो वन बेस्ट लीडरशिप स्टाइल इन ऑर्डर टू बी आ इफेक्टिव लीडर यूर लीडरशिप स्टाइल मस्ट फिट विद द सिचुएशन मीन्स हाउ यू लीड अदर्स इट ऑल डिपेंड ऑन आ सिचुएशन इफ सिचुएशन इज इन यूर फेवर देन यू विल डेफिनेटली लीड अदरवाइज नोट दैट्स वाई सम वन कैन बी आ इफेक्टिव लीडर इन वन सिचुएशन बट इट कैन बी पॉसिबल ही बिकम इन इफेक्टिव इन अदर सिचुएशन सो इट्स ऑल डिपेंड ऑन सिचुएशन As we know, according to this theory, leadership style must fit with the situation. That's why this theory based on two things: first is leadership styles, second is situational favorableness. One by one, we discuss about each. Firstly, we are going to talk about leadership styles. Fidler identified two leadership styles based on test. Test called LPC. Full form of LPC is least preferred co-workers. If you have high score in this test, then you will called relationship oriented leader. On the other hand, if you have low score in this test, then you will called task oriented leader. And task oriented leader only focus on task, only focus on work. On the other hand, relationship oriented leader focus on motivation and well being of their team members. Now we are going to talk about situational favorableness. situational favorableness depend on three things first is leader member relationship second is task structure last is positional power leader member relationship means how much trust team member have on their leader leader member relationship means how much trust team members have on their leader if team member have trust on their leader it will be favorable situation for leader second is task structure if team members have a proper task clarity then it will be favorable situation for leader last is positional power positional power means as a leader how much authority you have if your positional power is high it will be favorable situation for you now with the help of this diagram we will clearly understand how we can apply this theory in real business situation as we earlier discussed this theory basically depend on two things leadership styles and situational favorableness upper part of this diagram represent leadership style this red curve represent task oriented leader and this blue curve represent relationship oriented leader and lower part of this diagram represent situational favorableness as we earlier discussed situational favorableness include three things leader member relationship task structure and positional power and here we have three types of situation favorable situation moderate situation and unfavorable situation column 1 and 2 represent favorable situation column 3 4 5 6 represent moderate situation and column 7 8 represent unfavorable situation in favorable situation everything is in favor of leader you can see here leader membership relationship are good good a task structure high high positional power strong weak only one time we came otherwise everything is in favor of leader so it will call favorable situation on the other hand in unfavorable situation nothing is in favor of leader you can see here leader membership relationship are poor poor task structure low low positional power strong weak only one time strong came otherwise nothing is in favor of leader so it will call unfavorable situation in moderate situation two times leader membership relationship are good two times poor two times task structure low two times task structure high two times positional power strong two times positional power weak so we can say that here situation neither so good nor bad so it will call moderate situation so as we earlier discussed according to this theory leadership styles depend on situation in this diagram you can see 
इन फेवरेबल एंड अनफेवरेबल सिचुएशन अवर टास्क ओरिएंटेड लीडर इज लीडिंग यू कैन क्लियरली सी हेयर इन फेवरेबल सिचुएशन एंड अनफेवरेबल सिचुएशन कर्व ऑफ टास्क ओरिएंटेड लीडर इज अब फ्रॉम द कर्व ऑफ रिलेशनशिप ओरिएंटेड लीडर दैट मीन्स वेन सिचुएशन इज फेवरेबल एंड अनफेवरेबल देन अवर टास्क ओरिएंटेड लीडर इज लीडिंग अवर टास्क ओरिएंटेड लीडर इज परफॉर्मिंग वेल On the other hand, when situation is moderate, then our relationship oriented leader is performing well. You can see here in moderate situation, curve of relationship oriented leader is above from the curve of task oriented leader. But now question is that why when situation is favorable and unfavorable, our task oriented leader is leading? Because when situation is favorable. Everything is good. Uh, your team member trust on you. Plus, they have task clarity. You also have positional power. In this case, whatever leadership style you will adopt, your team member trust on you. They will not ask you any question because you have positional power also. That's why you need to adopt a task oriented leadership style when situation is in your favor. on the other hand when situation is unfavorable your team member don't trust on you they don't have any task clarity plus you don't have any authority in this case you don't have any alternative you need to focus on only task ultimately you are here to achieve your business goal that's why in this case when situation is unfavorable you need to focus on your task slowly slowly your team member will get task clarity plus they start trusting on you it can be possible to see your work organization give you more positional power that's why when situation is favorable or unfavorable you need to adopt a task oriented leadership style because in this case only task oriented leader will lead but in moderate situation a leader need to adopt a relationship oriented leadership style in case of moderate situation a leader need to adopt relationship oriented leadership style but why in case of moderate situation a leader need to adopt a relationship oriented leadership style as we know in moderate situation team member have only some trust on their leader not so much and they have some task clarity and leader have some positional power in this case first of all leader need to focus on maintaining good relation with their employees means leader should think about well being and motivation of their employees it will increase their trust once their trust increase they will listen their leader carefully as a result their task clarity will also increase they will perform well it can be possible to see the work of team members your organization will increase your positional power so in case of moderate situation leader need to focus on relationship oriented style so in case of favorable and unfavorable situation leader need to focus on task oriented leadership style in case of moderate situation leader need to focus on relationship oriented leadership style this is all about fiddler contingency theory of leadership i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care